And you know I'm just doing more and more problems off your homework, right? You guys are so, that's so nice, isn't it? Isn't that, Megan? So good for you. All right, so on this example, ladies and gentlemen, what they ask us to do um, is to find, find the measure of each interior angle of, of each regular polygon. So they want us to determine for a dodecagon. All right, a dodecagon. All right. Now, when we're talking about a dodecagon, by looking at the table that we've gone through, that we kind of just used as our values of our test, when looking at that, what we did, Terrell, is we were able to determine that a dodecagon is a figure with 12 sides. Now, in the question, it says that that figure has not only just 12 sides, but it is a regular dodecagon. So what does that tell you about each of those 12 sides? They each have equal sides. They, they also have equal sides. That's very good. Could you just go and move somewhere? Yeah, right over there. That's good. So now there's two different formulas that we talked about, ladies and gentlemen. S equals n minus 2 times 180. And the individual angle equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees over n. Now, in this example, they say, all right, you have a dodecagon, but find the measure of the individual angle. So therefore, since it's regular, I know I can use this equation. All right, so we want to determine what is this individual angle? What is this individual i? So we know n, again, remembers, n represents the number of sides, which is 12. So therefore, I have i equals 12 minus 12, or sorry, 12 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 12. So therefore, i equals 10 times 180 divided by 12. i equals 1,800 divided by 12. And 1,800 divided by 12 is going to because it goes one and a half. Very good. So therefore, i equals 150 degrees. So what that means is if you have a regular sided dodecagon, the measures are all going to be equal, and all of those measures, each measure that's equal is going to be 150 degrees. Okay? Ta-da.